Garu vs. 8 Heroes. An exciting battle of 1 vs. armies, but we focus on an anti-hero and hero hunter, Garu. Apart from being outnumbered, Garu was also hit by damage before from Saitama and Watchman Dog, which made his body condition not prime for several days. Thanks to the hero guide of a small boy who doesn't know his name, Garu can barely read the opponent's movements. Even so Garu couldn't win easily, because he had been surrounded from various sides which had been coordinated well by the heroes. Garu, who had been stuck due to conditions that were not good, tried to get up by taking advantage of the gaps in the hero's carelessness. Which turned out to be quite effective, and Garu was able to overthrow the heroes one by one. Garu's speed and instincts make the eight heroes who fight and go crazy. The heroes who hunt Garu must bury their desire to rise in rank in order to be on par with class S hero. There is an ironic position, when Garu, who is the antagonist, tries to protect a small child from Death Gatling's attacks. And finally the hero hunter managed to finish off the eight heroes very epic. Genos vs Garu Genos arrives when eight heroes have been defeated, and one of them uses a backup call to summon one of the class S hero aids. Genos with speed and power has been tuned into the latest mode by Dr. Casino, managed to provide a merciless resistance to Garu. Garu's attacks don't mean much to Genos. Garu tries the technique he tried to imitate from the fight before fighting the Watchdog men. He managed to increase his speed many times and broke Genos' arm. But that's not a good move, as Genos manages to take advantage of the technology from his entire body. Genos shoots out his laser attack like an Iron Man, but Garu manages to dodge it again. Bang and Bomb who are Doju Garu's masters must stop their fight. Beating Garu completely without a fight until he finally managed to escape by the bird monster who managed to kidnap Garu to take him to the Monster Association. S-Class Hero vs Melzigard Melzigard is an alien, like Boros, which is a general of the Dark Matter Thieves. He can turn his body into any weapon he wants and can split himself into several pieces. S-Class Hero managed to dominate the battle because they cooperated and excelled in numbers. However direct physical attacks were meaningless to Melzigard as he could regenerate his body quickly. Metalbat realizes Melzigard's weakness by destroying a marble that triggers her regeneration. Finally they hit again with a new tactic, and it worked. One by one the marbles that fueled Melzigard's regeneration were shattered. When about to run away, and ask for help to the mothership to carry out an invasion of destroying the Earth directly. Unexpectedly Tatsumaki came, and did his telekinesis to stop the ship. The unguarded Silver Fong took direct damage from Melzigard, knocking him unconscious. Atomic Samurai and his friends continued to fight, and Melzigard, who had only one chance to survive, strengthened himself. Melzigard was caught off guard by seeing the resurrected Silver Fong, the opportunity was not wasted by the Atomic Samurai, and Silver Fong went straight to Melzigard's core weakness, and they managed to win. Saotama and Genos vs Meteor A dragon-level disaster, approaching in Z-City. It is estimated that a large falling meteor will fall and destroy the city in 30 minutes. Genos also came to prevent that, with a costume suit that came out of his suitcase, much like an Iron Man. Before he goes into action the Metal Knight comes to unleash his abilities after being power-up, but failed. The meteor was still walking towards Z-City. Genos who remembers the teacher's message, immediately takes a last resort, using the cores of Genos to create an explosion that hopes to stop the meteor. But all of them useless, Genos who had no power because he had used the cores, tried to surrender and accept to die in that place. From behind Saitama comes and thanks Genos for managing to buy time before he comes. Saitama flies and destroys the meteor with one hit. Saitama vs Genos this is a fun sparring match between Master and Disciple in One Punch Man series. Saitama who thought this was just an ordinary exercise, wasn't as ambitious as a real fight. But Genos wants to prove more to Saitama making this more of an ordinary practice. Genos had already prepared everything for this fight. He put all his ability and speed to deal with Saitama. 
Jinos is also a little frustrated, because Saatama can dodge all of Jinos' attacks with easy. Saatama was ignited by Jinos' words. He wants Saatama to use his attacks seriously, without mercy. Saatama steps forward and issues a serious punch, which takes Jinos by surprise as he can destroy a hill with a single blow. He realized with different power comparison between Jinos and Saatama. Saatama vs. Boros This is the closing of the most epic battle in One Punch Man Season 1. The fight takes place quickly and is full of epic visual stunning. I remember this fight feels like in the Dragon Ball. Boros the Gladiator Galaxy must fight to the death to face Saatama. Even among the enemies Boros faced, only Saatama had survived this long. In fact, he even did the third transformation to a serious mode, and launched all the attacks he had, flying Saatama here and there, until Boros who was already in epic mode managed to kick Saatama to the moon. But it was just a simple trick for Saatama, so that he could return to the landing at same place. And an astonishing thing for Boros, and immediately beat him with brutal combat. Saatama responded with a normal punch, and a consecutive normal punch. Boros who had reached his peak used his last technique, that could destroy the earth all at once. Saatama ends up using a serious blow to Boros, and leaves him badly beaten. And for the first time Saatama is honored and proud to be able to fight with the Galaxy Gladiator.